Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, bienvenido a mi canal. Welcome back to my channel. If you know me, <laughs> um, if you know me, thank you so much for coming back to see a girl. I appreciate you. If you do not recognize this face right here, my bad. My name is Latrice, and nice to meet you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice, where faith is the muscle we exercise. <clears throat> excuse me, around here. Now let's get on into it. No dilly dallying. Mira. When I started this, when I see this, whenever you'll see this, um, first things first, I know your girl has not given you a video in about four days. I'm so sorry. I was out of town and um, I just needed a minute. If I'm being honest, I just needed a minute and I was, you know, regrouping here. If I look a little, it's because I did have a good old cry this morning. So, you know, skin breaking out, hormonal, don't worry about it. That's my business. <laughs> Let's get to the point of the matter. So, PD preached on Sunday, right, yesterday. And... <clears throat> The title of the message is, I'm confused by this, something like that. I'm going to put it in the what's in it below. But the point is, the scripture he read out of, which is interesting. He read out of Acts 16, and I believe he started at verse 6. Now, in there, he, uh, in that particular story, in yeah, in Acts chapter 16, um, it's talking about Paul and Silas, the two buddies, right? They were going around to different regions preaching. Now, if y'all recall, in one of the videos I just recorded, well, not just recorded, but one of my last videos, I was talking about how... Paul and Silas were in jail together when they started praying and singing. Um, the other people in the jail started hearing it. And once we skip a few, the prison broke and everybody was free. Now, why did PD preach that same thing on Sunday? He just mentioned it. I said, Jesus. Anyway, the point. So in this particular scripture, um, in Acts 16, 6 to 10, I'm going to paraphrase. The Bible says... That Paul and Silas were going around to different regions preaching, right? Phrygia and Galatia. And it says the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus, forbade, paraphrasing, have forbidden Paul and Silas to preach in Asia, right? In one place. And then <clears throat> it says they wanted to go to another spot. The Holy Spirit also forbid them to preach there. Now, I mean, think, wait a minute. That's what they do. That's what God has called them to do, to go spread the word, to preach the gospel. That seems like a good thing, right? It seemed like a good thing, but not necessarily the God thing for them to do. Then, after the Holy Spirit forbid them to go to two places to preach, then it's, the Bible says that Paul got a vision. He got a vision of a man from Macedonia, a Macedonian man, telling him, come over here. Come over here to us. Come preach to us. And then it says that Paul indeed got <clears throat> the idea that God wanted him to preach the word over to the Macedonian people now. He got that revelation. He got that vision. He got that. He stopped and got a vision, right? Now, he got his God word when he obeyed the Holy Spirit not to go to certain places. Two places, at least two places. Imagine if he didn't obey those two places, those two words from the Holy Spirit, right? Forbidding him to go preach and did it anyway. Remember that video where I said, don't do it? Don't do it. How we want to do something that we know we're not supposed to do. What if Paul just decided, I'm preaching is a good thing. I'm going to preach everywhere. Holy Spirit, I know you said don't go, but I'm going to go because preaching is good. He would have missed his moment. He would have missed his assignment. He would have missed his opportunity to really bless that Macedonian man who said, come, come, come to us and preach. Let me tell you what PD said. He said, when you're out of place, you don't spend time advancing, right? But you spend time trying to get back to normal. If Paul and Silas would have gone to Asia, all they would have had to do, all what would have ended up happening is they would have had to turn right back around, go back where they started, and then go to Macedonia. They would have had to backtrack. They would have had to take extra time out of their allotted schedule to retrace, go backwards, and then go forward. We wouldn't be progressing. We would be trying to get back to the, to the baseline, to normal, to then try to advance. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? When you're allowing God to <clears throat> influence your decisions, right? You're using that sixth sense that we talked about. <clears throat> you're able to advance, advance and progress and go further. When you don't do that, you spend time, time trying to get back to normal, start over and then progress. The point is when you follow Jesus, you start to, you start to go fast. You start to realize things. And if I'm being honest, let's just, circle back right now to uh real life huh this past week this past couple weeks because of the situation because of things that have happened because of how i just feel emotionally and all things i feel like i gotta get back to normal 
not just because of disobedience or something like that but just because life be lifing right and instead of progressing what i feel like is that i'm trying to get back to normal right now i may not be the only person in the world feeling like this right some of us is trying to get back to a steady ground <coughs> but guess what I encouraged myself this morning i said jesus no matter how low i may feel in some moments and how sometimes i feel like i'm back up sometimes i'll be like oh no life is life in this morning guess what i said in another video if you call on the name of jesus he will surely help you he hears you every time so don't give up stay on the course don't give up and listen see naya te ha dicho hoy i love you and i love me okay because life be life but guess what we are going to prosper regardless bye